New Jersey is home to some of the most robust and lively downtowns in our country. From north to south Jersey, our main streets are filled with walkable streets, delicious restaurants, and unique shops. And many of our downtowns are rich with history. This week, we're taking a trip to Main Street and highlighting how New Jersey's downtowns are flourishing and expanding. The state supports its downtowns through the designated Main Street program, which provides businesses with, among other things, design assistance state and national business specialists, training and marketing and promotions. Visit New Jersey, one of the state's promotional and tourism arms, lists some of the top downtown areas in our state, including Hoboken, Cranford and Haddonfield. But the New Jersey downtown that can claim to be the best in the state is Metuchen. We told you a few weeks ago how Metuchen won the Great American Main Street Award for being among the best in the country. Their turnaround has been remarkable. Since the Metuchen Downtown Alliance was formed in 2016, 144 new businesses have opened there, reducing the vacancy rate from 22% in 2016 to just 4% today. Downtown businesses earn $5.5 million annually, and this turnaround is thanks in part to a public-private reinvestment of about $168 million. With this award, Metuchen has been thrust into the national spotlight, with downtown organizations reaching out to the Metuchen Downtown Alliance for advice on growing their commercial districts. We wanted to learn the amazing story behind Metuchen's revival, so we visited a staple in the borough, the Metuchen Diner, and spoke with Don Mackey, executive director of the Metuchen Downtown Alliance. So, Don, Metuchen isn't just one of New Jersey's main streets, it is one of America's favorite main streets. Tell me what this national spotlight has been like. So it's been amazing. Uh, for the past few weeks, we've just been inundated with attention from the media and honestly other main streets across the country that are reaching out to us and they're struggling and they like a little support, which we are so happy to have those conversations. We feel like it's such a privilege because we've received so much help from experts over the last many years, particularly the Main Street community across America. I think it's the heartbeat of America. I think it's Absolutely. what makes us special. And it's such a community-based model that you could only do this when there's buy-in from everybody, the residents, the merchants, the landlords. Everybody has a stake, and that's why this award is uh, incredibly special, and the volunteers on the ground that really take care of so very much. And winning this award has put touch in. It's a little New Jersey town. Honestly, even in New Jersey, there are so many people that have never heard of Metuchen, they can't pronounce it, they've never <laughs> been here. And they're, they're now, the question is, wait a minute, what's going on in Metuchen? Why haven't I been to Metuchen? And that's, that's a real incredible opportunity for us. So we've already seen investors calling to see if there are buildings for sale. We've certainly have had retailers looking for space and remarkably, what a great problem to have but after experiencing near 20% vacancy just a few years ago, we don't have a lot of empty storefronts to show people who want to be here. And, and that's just an amazing testament right. to the work that's been done. Well, it's interesting because you bring that up and, you know, New Jersey has so many cute main streets. So what is a secret ingredient here? What separates Metuchen from the rest? So it is a wonderful collaboration between the people who live here and the municipality, you know, just really working in concert and everybody rowing in the same direction. But our volunteers, absolutely the secret sauce. What is so interesting about Metuchen is there's still that historic charm with these mom and pop businesses, but there's a lot of new modern businesses here. So talk about how that has played a critical role in, in winning this award and the Main Street. I think that um, the public loves a piece of history, mm -hmm. but we also need to have an eye to the future. So how do you honor where we've been with respect, but also take the community forward? And I think Metuchen's done an amazing, an amazing job. So we've got a business on Main Street, Brood Awakening. They've been here almost 18 years. Wow. Um, if you talk to them, they'll tell you it's their customers that have become family over the years. You know, through the pandemic, this community rallied to make sure that they kept their businesses alive. Is there a number that you can share over the past few years that 
you have invested into this Main Street? Um, hundreds of thousands of dollars have, have been invested in storefronts. And during COVID, um, so much money came in through uh, the, the COVID relief funds that went to outdoor dining to help put up structures so that people could safely continue to serve tables, chairs, heaters, tents. So there's the, the, the pandemic with, with all of its um, challenges brought incredible opportunity. What's the short term plan? What do you envision now? The short term plan mm -hmm. is uh, to start caring for the outer district with a little bit more intention. You know, anytime you start a project like this, you, you have to make the core solid because everybody benefits when the core is solid. And I think our core is, right. is going to knock wood really, really excellent. And so now um, starting to pay a little bit of attention to the aesthetic and the, the businesses, because now we're seeing a lot of really cool businesses. We have Beans and Bread um, that delivers food from, from Brooklyn, uh, so cool. bread and so cake cool. and pastries every single day. And he's a little bit on the outskirts of Middlesex. Um, so making sure that we are now carrying it outward. Uh, the so you don't just have to be on Main Street. You don't. I mean, we are, that's the joy, right? It reverberates out and the municipality is committed to creating an arts district at the end of the uh, district where we have a wonderful restaurant called Angie's. So pulling that all in and like sort of putting a bow on the whole district so that we feel cohesive mm -hmm. and putting a little bit more of our investment now into placemaking on, on the edges. So are you planning to have some type of celebration? Have you? We're planning a very big one. Okay. So we have not quite gone crazy public with it, but okay. I will tell you to save the date for June 10th. All right. Um, the Touchin is turning into a downtown fun house. Okay. So every crazy thing that comes into Thinking your mind. Thinking Coney Island. Exactly. Okay. A hundred percent. All right. I so, love it. Um, you never know who's going to be walking mm -hmm. down the street 12 feet high on June 10th, but you, okay. should, you should definitely be here for it. All right. Well, cheers to Matuchin. Dawn, thank, thank you. you so much. Appreciate that. Thanks for watching. For more clips and episodes of NJ Business Feet, subscribe to the NJ Spotlight News YouTube channel.